hello, hello. How is everyone today? It's Amy from Seriously Sweet and Cookie Snack Attack. It is noon on Tuesday, July 13th. Welcome, everyone. Quick little banner at the front here to get you set up to sign up for live streaming alerts. If you text the phone number 540-870-0726, then text the word live stream. You will get notices when we go live. And let's see, I just, you guys just hang with me for just a second. I just got a notice that the text that I set up to send everybody did not send. So let me redo that. I don't know it, why it got rejected. Um, I'm going to guess they're updating something again today. Give me just a second. Wow, that is really odd. I'm not sure what's going on. But it knocked out a whole bunch of our members just now when it did that. So let me... Let me just see. Hi, guys. Maybe you can share it into your groups. I'm trying to send the entire. Well, we're going to have to go a different way around the barn. <laughs> you know how that is. Sometimes you just got to get it done differently, right? Um, we've had a lot of updates in Facebook, on Instagram, and in our community texting the last three days. So um, tech challenge person here. And let's see. There we go. Thank you for your patience with that. I have absolutely no, oh, there it went. So hopefully everybody is getting their text alert. They're going to join us in just a couple of seconds. I'm going to grab the broadcast and share it over to the Cookie Snack Attack group. Jen, if you're here, if you'll let me know you're here. Um, I'll get started in just a second. I just want to drop this in the group. So crazy. I have no idea why all these things, you know, you have everything set up perfectly. And then um, they do an update and suddenly it doesn't work in the same way anymore, right? <laughs> so we just roll with the flow. It's just easier to roll with the flow than stress out about it. All right, so let me get you into Cookie Snack Attack. How odd is that, that it bumped me off of that today, too, and that's my group. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, here we go. So that is all done. Jen, if you're here, let me know. And I'm going to be back with all of you lovely folks now. Let me get out of here and just switch back to StreamYard, and then I think we're good to go. Let me see who's here with me. Hello, Obev. I'm glad I just saw your message. I'm glad you found it. Hey, Sandy. Um, I hope the text just went through. That was the first one did not go through, though. It rejected it for some reason. Let's see. Um, Barbie, I just dropped it into Snack Attack. Hey, Donna. I hope you got your alert just now, too. Hi, Myra. I don't see Jen yet, though. So, <clears throat> so Jen. Hey, Michelle. How are you? So, Jen, when when someone sees Jen pop on, just let me know. I'm going to go ahead and take down this photo. So here is the situation today. Hi, how is everybody? Let me say hi to a few more people over here. Hi, Emma, how are you? So I got my dates messed up for something that's happening with my husband this week, and he needed to be at a district board meeting this morning. And um, so there is a big banquet that we have to attend tonight. And you know, I like to do two tutorials on Tuesday. We do our prep work in the morning. Hey, everybody, glad you're popping on. You're not late. There was a problem with the text. So you're, you're not late. If that was what the alert you were waiting for, thank you for joining us. So anyway, I cannot do two tutorials today, but I already had everything prepped. I've got your supply list, all of that kind of stuff done. So I will be doing two tutorials on Wednesday this week. So I'll be on tomorrow at noon for the prep and at 7 p.m. 
and to do the main project and that will be part of our tiki hot series but this just happened to work out really well because i got a message from someone that said hey aren't didn't you say you're going to do some bonus cookies that we can do um, with other cutters we might already have that'll go with the tiki hot series for to keep our cookies in the three 350 range and so i decided what we're going to do for this this first video this morning we're going to sketch those cookies i'm going to give you ideas on what those are and we're going to sketch those out um, these cutters in particular are from shea b just and i'll explain why when we get into it but they're all cutters that you probably already have something super similar okay but it's all pieces that will coordinate with your tiki hot set but i didn't want to miss my time with you this morning because it's really just tonight that i have the conflict um, and if we get back from the thing that we have to attend as a couple this evening early enough then i'm still going to come on and i'm going to actually decorate these cookies tonight it just could be quite late so the video will be in the groups and on my store page of seriously sweet on davis street on my YouTube channel, Seriously Sweet Cupcakes, and also in Cookie Snack Attack. Um, it's just that it could be quite late, so I don't want to post a time yet because it's quite a bit of driving. Let me just say hi to a few more people. Hey, Debbie. Barbie's saying hello to everybody. Hey, Barbie. Now we've got Stacy's with us. Kat's here. So let's just start real quick with what the cookies are that we're going to sketch today because they're super, super cute. A few weeks back, remember I mentioned in the Cookie Snack Attack group, I was looking for a really cute flamingo for a baby shower that I had coming up. So I wanted a more cartoony flamingo more than the harsh, more realistic ones. So I found this super cute flamingo on the Shea B Designs site when I was checking out those monthly boxes. So I love this little guy, so cute. So we're going to sketch this little flamingo out this direction. Let me put a little more light on the workstation there and see if that, oh yeah, that looks a little better, I think. And then we're going to flip it and we're also going to do it the other direction, okay? So this is one of the cookies we're going to take this morning time or our first session today in sketch but then look also on the shea b site isn't this cool um and both of these cookies you guys just so you'll know because she offers lots of different sizes the cookie this is a flamingo head and you can put a a floral wreath across the head so i thought how perfect for us because we can use all the little bits and pieces we've already made for our tiki hot set and do our little pieces up here right our leaves our flowers our fondant flowers our royal icing transfers so we'll just be doing this bottom part and then this part will completely tie it into tiki hot i personally am going to be using the same two shades of pink on my flamingos that i've been using um, in my tiki hot set so that when i photograph my completed set at the end of this summer journey with you all they will all match up <laughs> well, wait, wait, don't, don't jump ahead. Hey, Shana, how are you? Don't jump ahead of me yet, Miss Harriet. Hold on just a second. So these are our flamingos. Okay. And this is what I'd like to try to come back on and pipe with you tonight. We're going to sketch them now, but be looking for these shapes. So grab a flamingo shape. If you have one, um, grab this. Now, uh, this is decorated as a flamingo, but in a second, I'm gonna show you how you could turn this into a toucan, okay? So the other thing that I grabbed when I was looking for bonus cutters from the Shea B site was these two awesome palm trees because these are great. There's two sides, uh, also, hold on, let me tell you the size, four inches on this. I don't think I told you on the flamingo with the crown, that's a four inch cutter. And the really cutesy little flamingo here, that's gonna be considered a four inch cutter too. Now, um, generally in my store, we start with pricing by the inch on the cookies, a dollar per inch, but these use less dough because it's tall and skinny. So sometimes you have to take that into consideration. So for us, this would be a three, a three to 350, depending on how elaborate you make the design. You could easily knock this out quickly and make it a $3 design and keep moving. But obviously if you can draw down more money when you're doing your cookies you should definitely do that don't set your prices too low it just depends on your area this little guy is a little bit more dough um, i know this because i weighed them when i cut them out 
Uh, it is a little bit more dough, but not so significant. However, my price would definitely be in the four to 450 range on this because I already know that to make this really cute, I'm gonna be adding all the fun summer design up top here, okay? All right, then these are really nice because they're tropical, of course. You can use them in all kinds of different themes, not just Tiki Hot. This one uses a significant amount of less dough. This is obviously a much more full palm tree this palm tree looks super cute um, doing some 3d piping on it pressure piping for your palm branches and maybe one coconut you can make those ahead of time if you want to um, maybe one coconut or maybe no coconut on this one some basic cross stitching on here will give you a nice base for the bottom but then this top one this would hold clusters of coconuts if you wanted to up the center part of the palm here. This is a nice heavy tree. You don't have to worry about it breaking. So mixing these in your set, if you're doing a Hawaiian themed or a summer themed set would be perfect. So right now you're looking at two different palms. I ordered, those are both from Shea B, four inch, the flamingo head, and it is under flamingo on her site, but we're gonna do something else with it to make it coordinate with another shape I'm about to show you. And then we've got this really cutesy, almost baby looking flamingo, just because it looks real cartoony. So I, I really like him. Okay, the fifth one I ordered in for us to do as a bonus cutter is this toucan. But when I was looking at the toucan, I was like, oh, you know what? Because this has such um, a sharp beak on it, like this is going to look good together with the flamingo because we're going to tie it together with the colors and it's technically supposed to be a flamingo. But as Miss Harriet pointed out when she saw it, you know how our minds immediately go to different things. This easily, you could take this and turn it into the head of a toucan by doing a little shaping right up in here. And, and don't think about that part as part of the flamingo. Think about that maybe as um, like over here, if you took that off, can you see the shape now? And if you looked at this a little more severe, it totally looks like a toucan head. So I thought we could go through, maybe we won't get them all done today or this evening, but certainly you could pair these two cookies together, right? Add in the pieces up top of the florals. So that shaves off that top part of the head. So you could have a toucan set here. Then you've got your flamingos you could tie together for baby showers, holiday, um, Hawaiian themes, Christmas in July. And then you've got your tropical palm trees. If we go through those, you see a llama? I don't see the llama, but I think it's the beak. Like I think if that wasn't so severe, I could see the llama head there too. But you probably could disguise that really easily. Um, but then you have all of these different ones you can mix into different sets. They're not technically part of the Tiki Hot because they're not my cutters and they were not designed to be um, created by dots and bows to go with our Tiki Hot. However, I did promise you some bonus cookies that you could keep the price down in case you wanted to do one of the large feature cookies and mix these pieces in. So that is what we're gonna work on. Let me just slide a few of these out of the way. I have a significant amount on the side um, in case I get crazy on my sketching. So let's start with our baby flamingo first. We're gonna do this super, obvious, actually let's do this. We don't even need to sketch this one. Let's go through colors for when you come back. And let's see, llama, well, let me put this up here because this is too funny. So funny. Okay, so Bev says she sees the llama, and then she said she sees the llama with the Elvis, <laughs> the Elvis hairdo. Yeah, I could totally, I get it, I get it. Um, and Harriet, you could definitely take it from being a toucan to specifically being a parrot too. Actually, I think you could do that with both of these shapes. He's designed and he's under the search name of toucan, but I think you could totally turn him into a parrot. And if you wanted to look at this, if you could pull back from seeing it in its official shape, right, and kind of let your mind go a little and think cartoony, this would be such a sweet baby bird of some sort, right? Because you've got this exaggerated beak, right? So like little bird, bird cage birds, you could do this like an enlarged one, do a fancy three um, royal icing transfer wing right there royal icing transfer wing right here if you wanted to. So you could tie these together like, like baby birds because they just have that look, but you have to kind of let your mind wander just a little bit so that you can see that because once you see it like this, it's a little bit difficult to see it as anything un, uh, other than the toucan because of the beak. Like once you see it, you see it. So you gotta let your mind go again and come back to it. 
Um, I did not pull a crab for my bonus ones because these were to just be worked in during the week. So I, I have palm trees, the toucan, and the two flamingos as the bonus cookies. And I also thought, yes, mine came from Shea B, but I think these are all shapes that have been out for years that from Ann Clark, different cookie cutter companies. So I thought it might be easy for you guys to take what we're going to do and then apply it to a different cutter if you wanted to as well. Let's see about this too. Uh, the Flamingo is cute, but they are all great cutters. Yeah, I really, and I really like her cutters too. Um, let's see. Uh, that's what I was thinking about the Flamingo with the crown. It could be a baby bird with top feathers ruffled up. Absolutely. I see that too. Do y'all see anything else in these shapes? Why don't we take a second since we have the time this morning? Let's flip that. Do you see anything else with this? Like in any direction? Do you guys? Oh, yeah. Someone else said a crab. He probably could be a crab, couldn't he? Is that what you meant? Like turning him like that to make him into a crab? He would be so cute with the claw here, claw here. Oh, who said that? Harriet, that was you. I see a crab too here. I hope that's the cutter you meant. So cute. So I see that. Let's flip this one on camera together. Uh, this is baby flamingo. So if you see something different, oh, hermit crab. Oh yeah, I totally see that too, Harriet. All right, so let's move on to the baby flamingo. I'm gonna flip it around. Uh, yes, let me type it in really quick. It's Shea B. Now, when you order, she offers lots of different sizes. Like I'm talking mini minis up to very extreme sizes. So everything I just showed you is a four inch cutter. And I don't like literally she has like extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, XXL, like tons of sizes. So you, what you need to know is to go in there and find the one that is four inches. Hey, Allison, I hope it's going well. I hope you're having a good time. Okay. So, um, oh, also, so for today, for Tuesday, uh, since this is a bonus day, there is not a supply sheet in the coffee shop. If you guys feel like over going over and buying me a sweet tea, you can do that. But I'm going to be live tomorrow and there will be royal icing transfers available tomorrow. So if you guys just want to wait to support until tomorrow, that's totally cool too. Um, this is just an extra and it worked out well because someone was inquiring about it. Uh, when I was going to get to work it in. And since I can only be live once today during our normal scheduled times of noon and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because of a previous commitment this evening, I thought this would be a good day to work in these extra things real quick. Let you guys look through the cutters you already have to see what you can find. Okay, let me come back here. So sideways glasses with raised eyebrows. Are you, are you talking about the baby one, Mary Ellen? This way? like this or were we back at the toucan help me out here i know there's about a 10 second delay but um i don't see glasses in this one i mean i i don't know i don't see glasses in that one so maybe we meant this one you see glasses in this with raised eyebrows like turn like this i'm not sure you might have to do that one no the oh the baby on the baby flamingo okay so you guys tell me if you see anything else in this one. I thought I saw something like this. Like, uh, you know, the little penguins, the puffin penguins. I thought this was like body, head, and then like a little top hat on them or something. Or maybe, um, and I thought puffin penguin because they have the exaggerated heads, but I guess you could do any, any of the, um, Mary Ellen, are you telling me to flip this one? Flip this? Or flip it like this. Is that what you're saying? I'm going to stay with you for a minute. I'm going to stay right here. Bikini top on the baby. Oh, I can see a bikini top here too. I see that. Oh, yeah. You could probably get a rubber ducky out of this too. Come this way. Now let's go this way. Don't you love doing this? I really love finding things in different shapes. This little dude's so cute though. If you do him... Um, Wait, how did I just have that? Yeah, like this. Doesn't he just like look like animals on parade in a circus though? So cute, right? All right, let's swap, let's swap over to the next one. So now we're moving to the large flamingo. We've already said we could turn him into a toucan. We could turn him into a parrot. So let me just start spinning him. This is a four inch from Shea B. Do we see anything this way? 
Hi, Priscilla. How are you doing? Okay, so Denise saw a, a bikini in the last cookie cutter, and Priscilla has made it here. Oh, Barbara saw a drink with an umbrella in this one. So that's kind of neat. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys either sketch these and post the sketches or um, doing the actual cookies and then posting them. You see a sheep head? Now, see, when I initially looked at this, Karen, I at first when I was turning it, I, I don't know why, because this is really too sharp for it, but I thought I saw a way to do a cow. I don't know how you would exactly make it work, but I see the ears. I see the face here. You could have the body here, but I don't know what you would use this for. However, if you trimmed this a little bit before you baked it, I mean, there's probably a way to even make this a turkey head. Can you guys kind of see a turkey head in there? I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. A flower bouquet for sure. Let's keep spinning. Donna says an ocean wave. Floral bouquet for sure. Um, think high school band uniforms, Trojan hat with feather. Yep, I can see that. A uh, cowbell. Oh, yes, you totally could use that for a cowbell right here. Have this as your ears and have the little face. So let's keep flipping. See if you see anything else. Anybody see anything this way? I see a fish. I see fish here, tail, and just doing something fun up here, maybe using this part to do air bubbles. That would be cute, right? All right, let's keep going. Let's go this way with it. Um, mm, I don't really, I'm not seeing anything right here. Uh, Woody Woodpecker, yeah. Oh, angelfish for sure, Bev. I can see angelfish. Um, yep. I can see a woodpecker in this too. Absolutely. What do you see this way though? I kind of see crab body and claws that way. I think that would be neat too. A dove. Yep. You could get a dove out of this for sure. I think. So look at all that. I think we just made like 20 different cutters out of three cutters so far. Now, just for fun, we already did these others, but let's look at this shooting star for sure. What about this? What about this super full palm tree? What do you see here? You see anything? If I turn it, let's see, ram. Yeah, on the other one, I see the ram too. What do you see on this one, guys? A fluffy rooster on this one? You see a rooster? Sandy, are you saying rooster on this one? I, I saw fireworks, I did. I thought that would be really cute for fireworks like this and then the pieces falling down right? You could do that for firework coming down like that, this shooting up in the air. Uh, but look at this because of the way the cutter is. What do you see here? Big bird. I can see big bird out of this, Veronica. Hey, how are you? <laughs> oh yeah, the um, you could definitely do the pow on here. Absolutely. What do you see this way though? Uh, Sandy, the other one, You mean you mean this one? Fluffy rooster. I could see that on here. I think this is the one you mean for fluffy rooster. Oh yeah, fire. You could definitely do fire out of this one, especially if you broke this piece off or trimmed that off before you baked it. That would be a great campfire piece. I totally see that. You, I, um, Linda's seeing that too. Um, let's see, Sandy saying yes, that was the right cutter. Priscilla's saying fire for this one. Um, Rosebush, yep, I can see that too. God, you guys are so creative. It's Tuesday. You haven't used up all your brain juice for the week. So uh, let's turn it this way. See anything that way? Totally. I could see an angel fish out of this one too. Whoever said that a minute ago, a bush for sure. A bush out of this one. And you know, I see palm tree cause I bought it to be palm tree. It was palm tree listing, but you easily, if you were doing, um, this would be a great base for any other kind of tree, you know, like for the fall, um, you could easily turn this into a maple tree by doing a bunch of little cut out fondant leaves and just using this as your base. So you're not limited to strictly making it a palm tree, right? Yeti foot. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. I love that. Uh, winter blowing air. I could see that like to put in with your snowflakes and make it look like ice crystals, maybe use some isomalt on it. Um, yes, totally. If you cut that stem, you've got a grass skirt right there for a a hula set. Um, yep, I can see barefoot too. Yep. You see the maple tree? See what I mean? You could use this as a base. All right, now let's swap over to this one. 
I don't think this one looks so much fire. Maybe more like you could crisscross your logs and add fire. Oh, yeah. Um, sunflower, a side sunflower. Donna said that. I can see it totally. Totally see that. Cloud blowing in the winter. Did I put that up yet? Because I can see that too on this one. All right. Now let's go to the little one because the little one is not as full. It's not as fluffy. So when I looked at this one, I didn't see as much in here. Um, probably if you cut this off, uh, there's probably a way to work this out to be a sea creature. Yep, I can see a crab in this one too. Um, hermit crab I can see in this one too. Monster claw. I was thinking maybe there's a way to work this to be a dinosaur. Um, a dinosaur claw, you know, the claws, like maybe this part of it or something. Cut this part off so, so you actually cut this cookie out but then half it and then do, you know, two half cookies spider totally halloween you could get a get a spider out of this any time of year but now i'm seeing something with this dropping down like a, a spider would be coming from the ceiling you could do the the drop down piece here body and then work your eight legs in there that would be so cute harriet let me put that on there um let's see sea turtle oh i could see a sea i could see a turtle a sea turtle out of this easily 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 um a toucan like maybe like how would we turn it to get the toucan are you thinking like this like to get a beak out of him and then his tail i can see a bird if we turn it like this if we go like that i can see a bird for sure a tomato with salad inside oh that's good yes i can see that dino foot in need of a pedicure bed <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, Kelly. So, Kelly, you're joining us late. I'll just say again really quickly for anybody coming on late that this is not our normal Tutorial Tuesday because I had a date conflict and I have a previous commitment this evening. So, because I can't do one of the Tiki Hots where we do the prep in the morning and do the Tiki Hot cookie at night, I'm moving Tutorial Tuesday to Wednesday. And I had had a request for somebody from someone in the group that said, hey, weren't you going to show us some bonus cookies to go with the set using cutters we might already have? So I'm just doing sketching this morning for you on a couple of different designs. My cutters all came from Shea B. The information is further up in the stream. Um, but the avocado cut, oh, I can see that. Um, these cutters came from Shea B and were intended to mix in with my cutters from Dots and Bows for the Tiki Hot series. But you probably have this. Oh, Lisa, I totally see that. I totally see a feather duster. I do. I see that too. So we're just doing, this is a little bonus. And then depending on what time, opened orange. Oh yeah, like peeled down, like down this way. Is that what you mean? Like opened up, Bev? I can see that too. Well, this is a fun game. I like this. Um, so if I get home at any kind of reasonable hour tonight, I'll actually jump on and decorate a few of these. But I'm not going to promise exact. Oh, my gosh, I totally see that. Hold on, you guys. Now I can. That's all I can see now. Look at that magic broom from. So, yes. And isn't there a broom in Harry Potter? And isn't there a magic broom in Cinderella that dances? Isn't that, isn't that the Cinderella that does that? That would be so cute for that. Um, so anyway, depending on what time I get home from this special event tonight that I'm involved in with my husband, um, then I'm going to jump on and just decorate these. But I don't know what time, so I can't post it. So the video will just be in the group. I'll send a text alert if it's before 9 p.m. Oh, my gosh, Karen, I do see a cluster of sharks here, too, now that you've said that. I can see that totally. And Kathy's saying, yes, Cinderella Broom and Disney's. And Bev is saying Disney's Fantasia. I can see that um beauty and the beast has a dancing duster yep i remember that now so i'll jump on at some point tonight to actually decorate these and i'll put up a supply list at that time for these but there's really no transfer sheets that go with them so everything that i would normally do i see that linda thank you um everything i'd normally do for you to be prepared for tutorial tuesday will actually get released tomorrow because i didn't want anyone going over there and then not finding the video and blowing up my phone while i'm in this um banquet that we have to attend tonight let's see so sometime tonight when i get back if it's before 9 p.m eastern uh, oh i can see that too yeah gosh you guys are so good at this um 
if I get back before 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then I'll send you a text and let you know I'm going live. If it's after 9 p.m. but before midnight, then I'll probably still be wide awake and I'll just jump on and start decorating. I'll send an alert to each of the groups through StreamYard, um, but I don't want to wake anybody up, my East Coast friends, if they're already sleeping, okay? So let's do a little bit of sketching. Again, if you sketch on cookies at home, I always recommend you use yellow because it's very easy to hide the yellow. Um, I'm going to be sketching for camera purposes, so I'm using... I thought I grabbed the one that had the writing just so you could see it. This is edible ink markers. I got them off Amazon. There's a link in any of the supply lists that we've used for Tiki Hot. They're linked in there, set of three for like $7.99. Um, they are actually edible ink. It has a brush tip on this side in case you actually want to do some drawing on the cookies. And then it's got the more pointed, finer tip on this end, okay? So let's just talk about these cookies really quick. I know how I want to decorate them because I don't want them to be too plain to go in with my Tiki Hot set. So let's talk about that for a minute. You actually will be getting a Royal Icing Transfer template, I think, I think tomorrow the palm leaf one releases. So you can use that one, but you can also use the leaf templates that you've already gotten in the first couple of Royal Icing Transfer releases for this series. Um, so you can make Royal Icing Transfers so that you can actually make your cookie, you know, come up off the cookie by putting your palms in this way. You can definitely do this by doing an outline and flood and going back and adding an, um, an outline color of a darker green on top. So for this cookie, you really need two shades of green, two shades of brown, and you can do it super fast and keep it very low budget to mix into your sets. Or you can do a little bit of custom um, bag trimming and make your 67 tip. Do I have one in front of me? The one that looks like a bird beak. Let me show you on here. So if this were full of icing, I got these baby bags in the other day. Well, never mind because I already put the scissors in there to be cleaned. Forget that. So let me show you on a piece of paper. How's that? Let's still have a little improv today. So the bird beak tip, which you do leaves with generally looks like this if you want to use a metal tip. But you can also cut your bag, a tipless bag like that, if you keep it a small enough cut. And then that is wonderful to make dimensional leaves on your palm tree with a toothpaste consistency icing, which is really um, like a paste. It needs to look like toothpaste, not toothpaste gel. So it's like a 25, 30 second icing. It's almost to the point where you can just squeeze it right out and start sculpting with it. But just a little bit below that because you want to be able to... Um, do our little bag shake when you're doing the leaves to get the ripples in the leaves without doing a lot of extra work. So you can definitely do an outline and flood flat, more like you do a wet on wet technique and do your leaves in two shades of green. It would take two shades of brown to make the bottom of your tree look good. Super fast, beginner level, you can crank those out. If you wanna go intermediate level on these palm trees, you see how we have, we have all of these leaves. So you see how full this would actually be if you did this in a two-dimensional where you're doing a raised icing on the cookie. So, and down here, very simple. You can, you know, do an outline and flood in a light brown, go back with the dark brown and do the crisscross for the base. So you can come up to an intermediate level cookie really easy on both of these. Do you guys see all that? Now I'll tell you, I did these mixed in a summertime uh, no, Bev, two different levels of cookies. So you can do an outline and a flood and then come back once it's totally dried and do a dark green layer over top where you lay that first. First of all, if I were doing this quickly, I'd do a dark green outline on this cookie. So it has that edging. Then I'd flood in my lighter green. So these are my two greens. I'd outline in this one. I'd flood in this one. I'd let the whole part of the uh, leaves dry because really it'd be one filled in piece, right? Then I would come back and do some detail work on top of the light green by putting a line on top where the leaf is. And then that would be it for that cookie. More like the style that Flower Box Bakery uses where they outline flood and then do detailing on top of the icing. That's not my normal style, 
but if you would like to do something fast, that would be a great way to get detail on the cookie, more beginner level, okay? You could also do what I just described to you as wet on wet, but I tried it. I didn't really like how it looked, um, and it takes quite a bit of time. You'd have to drag that dark green into your light green if you did it as a wet on wet. You can do it. I just didn't really like how it looked. It did for the amount of time that was invested there to do that. It didn't give me the look I was after, right? So here, um, this I'd flood this. I'd flood. Sorry, I would outline this if I was on beginner level. I'd outline in a dark brown, flood in light brown, then crisscross in dark brown on top of everything once it was fully crusted. Just a nice way to get a little more detail in a beginner level cookie to make them fast and make them cost efficient for your sets. Jumping up to intermediate level is when I would do that bag tip and I would do the fancier leaves. Okay. You and then also I did these for a wedding last summer, not these specific palm trees because I just got these cutters, but another palm tree. These are beautiful to do with your two shades of green, two shades of brown, and then use um I have a brush that I don't have it here in this cookie studio. It's over at the store, but it's a um, a brush that I use to make a denim texture. So it has gaps in between the bristles. So you really thin out whatever you're going to paint with. And you can come back and do hash marks across here if you don't want that icing up on top. Because some people don't like that. If you're not really proficient in how to do that and that and you bag it, sometimes that cracks off the cookie and winds up in the bottom of the bag and looks messy. Um, but anyway, I did these for a wedding and they wanted gold highlights. So I used TMP gold, which is not FDA approved. The super gold is not FDA approved. They do have a new gold out that is FDA approved. It's really similar to the, um, to the super gold by sugar art. So TMP has one out that's now FDA approved and sugar art has one out both very good of the FDA approved, but they wanted the super shiny and signed the release form for me to use the um, non-toxic from Truly Mad Plastic. So then I just went back and did swipes with that brush on the bottom of my palm trees for their set to just give it a little highlight. So you could do that too. I also, I didn't, I have not figured out how to do it yet, but let me tell you what I'm thinking. Um, for when we get to the end of our Tiki hot set, because several of them of the Tiki hot set I'm converting to cake toppers. But if, if you could do it, let me just get another tree. You guys, this might be mind blowing time. You might not get this. If you don't just skip what I'm about to tell you, but this is a thick enough tree that <laughs> this is what I thought I would do at the end of the set. So um, I would bake this cookie like it is. Okay. And I would trim, I have a little cutter that came from some coffee shop that you can notch a coffee tea company. Uh, it's just a little rectangular cutter and you use it to cut out a section of dough so that you can hook a cookie on the edge of a coffee cup or um, a tea cup, right? If you want to just have a cookie and you want to put that on <clears throat> and it's by, I picked it up in one of the Mennonite or Amish shops around here in the baking section, but it's by a company called Fox Run. But listen, you don't need that. You can do it with a knife. Um, you can do it with a very thin, skinny rectangle from the end of another cutter, but just notch one of these cookies. Then when you cut out your second cookie, cut this part off, cut this bottom part off. So you just have this and then notch this part, right? So that uh, did I do that right? So this you would when it's notched, right? So you only have this when you're baking. When it comes out of the oven and everything's cool, so they're set up and not pliable, bendy, or any of that, you've given everything a chance to solidify. This would be turned on its side, and then you could slide it right down over this notched part to make a 3D stand-up cookie. Can you can you kind of see from the top down what I'm talking about, right? Now you would need to make an extra piece. This would need to be thicker so that you could insert a lollipop stick or a bamboo food safe skewer into this so that you could just place this on your cake. But how fun would that be if you were icing a three dimensional, right? You'd be icing here. You'd do your, um, definitely if you wanted to do that, then I would do the thick icing and I'd be doing the palm leaves, but you'd be doing this, you'd be doing this, you'd be doing this where they join up 
you'd be putting a layer. You could get super fancy with this cookie. Yes, and um, let's let me show you this. Uh, the FD the liquid gold is FDA approved too. I think now the um, I don't know what brand that is. Um, I was specifically talking about just so nobody gets confused though. I was specifically talking about the FDA versus non toxic from TMV from TMP right truly mad plastic TMP and the FDA approved that's from sugar art but if there's another brand called liquid gold and you want to drop that info in please drop a link in um, 3d Christmas cutter set that turns 2d into 3d Christmas tree yes and then I made a really cool it's in my saved videos on my store Facebook page on seriously sweet on Davis Street I made a really cool 3d christmas tree and the video saved in that group i made that to go along with that 3d fireplace i made last year so that'll give you some ideas too to start getting ready those are just really cool cookies especially like for competitions and things like that so that's that tree same thing with this palm okay now let's pull let's go ahead and do the toucan first now if if i were doing him i would definitely if i was doing him in an order just to make my order look really cool while I'm photographing it and to give it a little more, make it, hey, Jeremy, how are you? We're so glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, cookie nerds all here. So I would make this where I would, in my set, I would ice this so that I had two, right? So you could put them facing because aren't these cute? These birds are so cute if you wanted to do love birds or something, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? There goes my cookie a thing to do. Wait, did I? I didn't take your idea, did I? Oh, cookie a thon tutorial? No, you can still do one, Bev. You do one. You, you do one. That is probably totally different than mine. Mine, I did snowflake cutters and I stacked and did a rod in the center. And it's because I got the idea for that because I was doing a, um, a cake topper for a Christmas themed wedding. So we had to put a bunch of different sizes of trees. And so I was using cutters I already had. But you totally could do that. People love that. I should ask if anybody else is on here that's doing cookie-a-thon. I'm not ready to tell you what I'm doing yet, but I think it's cute. I think you'll like it. And it won't be as hard as last year's project. It, it'll be something you can make it difficult or more advanced if you want to. But aren't those cute? So I would do these both ways. So let's just take a quick look at what we have in front of us, okay? So this is going to end up being his tail. So I'm just going to mark it just because I want to know what's going here. This is how I start eliminating areas so I don't get confused on what I'm doing. Um, and I really like this super, super exaggerated beak. So I'm going to go to the furthest points on the beak, come in about an eighth inch and mark it. And then I want it to have that curved look. I don't want to come straight up. I want it to have that curved look like it actually looks on the bird because it, even though it's not giving it... Um, dimension off the cookie, it makes it look like it has dimension because we added the curve to it. So that's the beak. Um, they show the beak. I'm, I'm going to sketch for you how they show the beak. They have this as solid black, and then they have a line that curves. It looks like it stays in line with the top of the beak here. Um, and then they just have it split into two colors. But we're going to use our... Um, <laughs> there um let's see hold on let me see if i miss somebody hey elizabeth how are you doing all right good all right good i'm glad i didn't wreck anything sorry about that bev <laughs> um so they have it split into two colors but i think i'm gonna do this like we did using all of my tiki hot colors okay so there's that bird now if I want to go baby shower, I'm going to do an eyeball like this, where it's just real sweet and looks like his eyes closed and he's sleeping, right? And then we'll do a wing. We're going to do a wing right in here. I don't know how yet. I think I might do that as a transfer. But that's what we would do if we want to go sweet. And then we can dust his little cheek right in here, right? Same thing on this one to make it to match. Find those two points. Curve it. We don't want to curve it this way. I mean, you can, but I like this very exaggerated beak by curving that way, okay? And then following the top line, right, for the beak, we're going to do the eyeball. We've got a wing going on here. Good. So you see what we're going to do with those. So for that, I'm thinking any of the Tiki Hot colors, plus we're going to need some black. Elizabeth, um, the cutters are from Shea B. 
Um, and I'm also going to do something funky with the tail to match the beak on mine when I get to it. That's an extra one of these. Let's look at our baby flamingo. So looking at this, this has the really cute beak. So this probably is going to be like on the flamingo on the end where it's black. That's probably going to be the black part. I'm probably going to come up in this part like this and make that the white part. I'm going to give him a, a little cute little eyeball. I'm going to give him a little tuft of hair up here, right? Because I want it to look for a baby shower set. Um, hello, hello, Miss Linda. All right, then I want to give him a 3D wing down here. So I'm going to use a 104 tip and make my wing like we did at Easter. <laughs> Shea B, Shea B Designs. Um, and then I want to do his cute little feet. They actually have really thick feet done for him, but I think what I want to do is just do a delicate little foot line, right? The body is going to be here. I'm going to use two shades of pink. So probably I'm going to do pink, light pink, dark pink, and then his little foot, right? It should come out like this and go down. Isn't that how it goes? Or maybe it's this way. No, well, they have it pictured like this, but I don't know if I'm going to do mine like that. I might do um, straight down here, maybe give, give him a little knee bend. I think that might look a little more realistic for what I was going for. So we'll see how he turns out, but there's a rough sketch on him. Then let's look at this one really quick. Love this. Finding the points of my beak, marking it. Let's get really exaggerated on this beak. We know we want the tip to be black. You guys, hey, Sally, how are you? How are you? How are you? Watch the beginning so you know what's going on. Um, it's not a normal tutorial today because I have a commitment tonight. So then what I want to do, um, remember, we're going to do all the leaves and flowers up here. So I'm just going to sketch this in so I know that space is all going to get used. And then I want to do a flower here, probably a hibiscus or something. So that's what's left for me. So probably on this one, if I want to stay in theme with this guy, I'll probably do a really easy eyeball up in here. I'll probably dust this cheek right in here. And then I'll probably do two colors. I'll probably do my light pink coming down to here and then my dark pink. Okay, so can you guys kind of see those, what they're going to look like? Let me make his little rosy cheek, her cheek. And we'll do the two colors. I might even do it like that. And then this is going to be all 3D. So that's the sketches on the bonus cookies. Um, again, watch the video for earlier for the details because I will not be on tonight at the normal time because of a previous commitment. So you guys are actually benefiting because if I get home before midnight, I'm just going to jump on and decorate a few of these because I have everything ready. But then you're also getting two tutorials um, that you would normally get on Tuesday, your prep video and your construction video um, the noon and the seven, you're going to get those on Wednesday. Okay. So you're actually getting two extra tutorials this week since I have a conflict. It just seems to be a great time to work in the bonus cookies. And since I'm getting more questions about these bonus cookies, I really want to get them worked in so that you can be making them along with the fancy Tiki Hot that you already know how to do. And then guys, the next Tiki Hot that we're going to do um, tomorrow uh, tomorrow, we're going to do the pineapples tomorrow that are from the Tiki Hot set. And then the next one next week, the next fancy one, we're going to be doing the Tiki chalkboard sign. So get ready for this one for next week. And then um, this is next week. And if you've been buying, hey, Rebecca, how are you doing? Um if you've been buying your royal icing transfer sheets already, if you have week one and week two, you'll be good to go for next week. And really, um, you shouldn't need any transfers necessarily for uh, what we're going to do tomorrow because we're not. Yes, tomorrow on Wednesday when we, we're going to do the pineapple, you can do that just with two shades of yellow, two shades of green, maybe a little brown if you want to. Hey, Sharon, how are you doing? Um, so if you want to decorate with me, go ahead and have the pineapple cookie baked for tomorrow and have yellows, two shades of brown or sorry, yellow, two shades of yellow, um, so that your secondary color will show up good as an outline, or you can even paint it. If you want to paint it and just do one shade of yellow, you can do your darker yellow with some of your colorings. Um, Elizabeth, maybe that's coming. It's possible very soon. That's all I can say right now. 
you might have seen that huge box picture picture that I put up on Saturday at my store. My husband was helping me prep all that. Okay, so tomorrow, pineapples and our two tutorial Tuesday. We'll prep in the morning. We'll do the pineapples in the evening. I do have some royal icing transfer sheets for you tomorrow, but I think what's going to be in that bundle is some additional foliage in case you want the whole set. Like you have enough transfers if you bought week one and week two that it will work for you, but I'm going to put in some additional of uh, tropical foliage. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put the transfer in for the wings for this guy and the wing, the wing for the toucan right? So that they're sized to the cookie. Cause that's one of the benefits when I put them in, they're sized exactly to the cookie. If you just print them out in the six by six format, um, then when you print that transfer out, if you make that transfer, it's sized to this, you don't have to do anything. Uh, we're going to sit, we are working on that, Elizabeth. We are working on that. And all right. Hey, Maritza, how are you doing? so that you have now have the info for what may happen tonight if i get home before midnight if i am home before 9 p.m eastern standard time i will send a text alert if it's after that i'm not going to send a text alert tonight but if it's after nine but before midnight then i will um, jump on and do some decorating on these you guys just join me and chit chat then you know that tomorrow we're going to have two tutorials on Wednesday this week because of my scheduling conflict this week. So tomorrow we're going to be doing the pineapple and whatever we don't get finished in the bonus cookies, that will be tomorrow. And then next week we are doing, if you wanna go ahead and get your cookies baked, we are doing the Tiki Hot cookie cutter that says chalkboard, okay? So that's the one we're definitely doing next week and we're gonna do that you need a box in your life, Becky. You will like these boxes, I promise. Um, they're not going to come out until August because we had so much releasing in June and July for you that I just didn't want to put that additional financial thing out there. So that we're, that box thing is something we have talked about before. It's a summer theme that will work for August and September. But then honestly, the kit that I put together, it's a super, it's probably one of the top three cookie themes. So you're going to be able to use it all year long. You could do Christmas in July, kid's birthday, um, summertime theme. It's very versatile and you'll be able to use all the pieces that are in there. All right, guys. So that's it for this morning. Thank you for allowing my life to happen. I'm sorry about the conflict and that I got the date wrong, but you're going to benefit because we're working in the bonus cookies a week early and you'll end up with basically you're going to see me four times on Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. All right, so have a fabulous day. I am going to go take care of a few things and start getting ready for my drive across the mountain. And I will talk to you guys later, all right? Thank you and have a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you share the post. Make sure you like the, um, yes, you have time. You have time. <laughs> Becky, thank you. A little grace was much needed because I really was like, how'd I do that? All this going on on a Tuesday. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate all your encouragement. Maritza, it was fun to spend time with you last night. Um, tonight's going to be a lot of fun, Harriet, because I'll get to see a lot of people, um, ministry friends tonight. But then also, I don't think I've shared with you guys yet, but my husband will be getting his highest level of ministry license Um on Friday night. So it's a pretty special service that we'll be attending Friday night this week. So I have so many things packed in this week. I didn't realize they were all this week, but it's going to be a fabulous week. Thank you guys. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. Say a prayer for us tonight because I have to drive over the mountain and I don't do that well at night and especially not after being up for um, 12 hours. Hey, Allison, make sure that your friends, thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. Make sure that you have your new friends go like the Cookie Snack Attack group, the Seriously Sweet on Davis Street and the YouTube channel. That way, no matter what happens on those social media platforms, they'll be bound to get a notification somewhere. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Maritza. I'll tell him. He's pretty excited about it. Um, so I will tell you all about that later and have a fabulous day. Be sweet and stay safe.